This is lecture 10 on matrices and it was just uh, clearing up the rest of the spamming. He just basically finished off telling us what it is, but I hope I explained it well enough in the last video in a nutshell of what spamming actually is. And there was only one addition in this lecture, is the basis. Now the basis uh, is a group of vectors that are linearly independent and they span over the subspace they're in. Um, and he never told us this, but I found this out from someone else, that the basis is the rank. So they are just the same, and the rank, if you remember, is when you set up as if it's a Gaussian, and solve it that way, and the size of any basis is the dimension. So if we have basis of two, then it's going to be two dimensions. Easy enough. Right now, and there was just a quick example that was, that this was all that was in the notes really. Right, so we had two vectors, uh, two minus one zero and three zero minus one. I probably should have split this up a bit, but I forgot. Um, and first, we need to check that it's linearly independent. Uh, so we have a scalar times it plus another times it, and if it's linearly independent then x and y will be zero in order for it to be zero. So we have 2x plus 3y equals zero, minus x plus 0y equals zero, and minus y equals zero, so obviously we know that because of these, that x and y are both zero. So it is linearly independent, and the other one we need to check is if it spans. So I've got a different value u and v, I don't want to do the x and y in case it confuses, and we've got our points. So if, remember, if it spans, then it has to cover every point on the subspace. So x, y, and z, that's going to be every point. So then we write down these, and that gives us minus v equals z minus u equals y, uh, 2u plus 3 v equals x, so we can rearrange, put these into here, which will give us uh, x equals minus 2y minus 3z. Now it does span because we have our values here and it has worked, and if we wanted to have any values, so we say we wanted 1, 2, 3, we put these into here, so we've got our value for v and u, so uh, x really doesn't matter. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, we have 2, which will be minus 2, and 3, which will be v meet minus 3. So it also does span, so it is a basis.